We're going sailing today. We're leaving our anchorage in Norman Island. There are some rocks just across the way that we can see from here and it's just always completely crowded with boats so there must be something cool going on there we figured. And then our, our final destination should be Virgin Gorda if we don't get distracted along the way. Last week we did an overnight sail from Sabre to the BVIs where we anchored on a secluded island, got a few boat jobs done and snorkeled some pretty dope caves. We're going sailing today. We're leaving our anchorage in Norman Island. There are some rocks just across the way that we can see from here and it's just always completely crowded with boats so there must be something cool going on there we figured. It is a dive and snorkeling site so we're gonna stop there on the way and then our final destination should be Virgin Gorda if we don't get distracted along the way. Yeah I think Virgin Gorda is one of the more popular sites in the BVI's. There's the famous baths and uh, we thought we'd be wallies not to go there while we're here so we're gonna go and check out what the fuss is all about and yeah we'll probably stay there for a, a couple of nights but you just never know we ended up staying here three nights that wasn't the plan we were only meant to be here for one night but it was just so glorious. We picked up the book and headed just two miles across the way to the Indians, not really knowing what we would find there. Don't say, darling, cause you'll fake it. Don't hide the tears, cause I know you're breaking. And it turned out to be a rather spectacular snorkeling site. It's pain you've given. All this love and all this pain You bring them from another world Another tear just burst from the side of your eye And I know what you're saying And I know what's a fucking lie so Jackson was quite keen to launch his kite. We headed upwind to Peter Island to make that possible and we were flying. found out that winch handles float, which is good. Oh. It's under the dinghy. Reverse, reverse. Oh. Come here, baby. Yes! Yes! Woo! Yup, so as planned,
and change of plan. First time in the dinghy. So Jackson fancied a bit of a kite board. The wind was up, so Jackson thought he would get his kite out and we went to an island called Peter Island. And as the name would suggest, actually, we got there and the wind just petered off. <laughs> so um, there's a famous bar here called Willie Teeth, which we actually visited the wreckage of the old one yesterday on Norman Island. The power probably still work. I know, little fella, I know. You'll be alright. And uh, apparently it's a really fun bar. So we sacked off the idea of going to Virgin Gorda today, it was too much to fit in. So we'll whiz up there tomorrow. Enjoy the day. Yeah, this has got to be it. If I take it down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just want to hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, ma'am. Tees. Not a bad spot to sip a margarita whilst admiring the view of your very own boat. We also were lucky enough to discover where the Willy in Willy Tees comes from. Champagne with the roof on Bump this jam back in Tucson. I think I got to get a move on. Never had much to lose, do it. We made a swift exit before we were lured into the temptation of having too much fun, as we had some serious sailing to do the next day. On to one of the BVI's most popular tourist attractions the baths, characterised by huge boulders scattered along the bay. So we basically sailed until we could make out some massive boulders on the land. My so we may have just winged it and didn't actually have a single flipping clue where said baths were supposed to be. Turns out there's a few boulders on this end of Virgin Gorda. So the adventure begun with 40 minutes of clambering over rocks in search of the baths. Oh, 
And of course, upon leaving the baths, we found the entrance with perfectly manicured pathways and access points. Boring. Following Jackson. <laughs> He's going the most ridiculous way. type to chill we don't really get it I know a lot of people like to look out for white sand beaches and turquoise water but we get there and then we're like well now what what, <laughs> what do we do <laughs> we like to keep moving but um we just we came here because we did actually feel like chilling because we're gonna have a few action-packed days coming up I mean tomorrow well, you'll see. You'll see what we're going to be doing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we thought we'd come here and chill for a day or two. Um, I can see the appeal, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it was pretty sketchy coming in here. We were basically dodging coral heads. And uh, at one point, we were going to turn back. It was, it was touch and go at one point, but I sat on the bow and stayed on watch and Jackson kept a cool head and it was definitely worth it so look we probably will end up exploring around here we probably will get restless legs but um, there seems to be some cool little outer reefs to explore a few hurricane damaged resorts to go and loot <laughs> and yeah some amazing white sand beaches around here so might show you around how was your swim? Refreshing. That's what I like to hear. Jumped off the bow. Thanks for watching this one guys. If it brought you some smiles, then please give it a red hot thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and share it around. This episode was brought to you by our patrons. Camera gear is not easy to manage on a boat. We've already gone through one SLR camera, we've gone through a drone, two GoPros, multiple gear along the way, uh, hard drives, memory cards, memory cards but it is thanks to you guys that we can keep this series going. If you're keen to support this production or finding Avalon once a week is simply not enough, join our Patreon crew for as little as $2 and get instant access to bonus content. And most of all, you'll get a chance to come on board Avalon in the South Pacific. Lots of love guys and see you next week. We're at Richard Branson's Island, but we're gonna try our luck at going and zinging ashore and see if Richard's at home, maybe go around for a cup of tea or a gin if he's feeling fruity today. Oh really good. Oh my god, Devo. <laughs> so I went to the Chandlery um, because they have a battery tester. Yeah, they're only six months old and it's a little bit unnerving that their charge is just so low these days. I don't know if they're Faulty.